What's going on everyone? In this video, we are gonna make a web server from an ESP8266. So if you wanna know how you set this up and do a lot of things with this, make sure you watch this video. And of course, if you haven't already, like this video and subscribe down below. It helps me out a ton. And without further ado, let's jump straight into this video. So we're gonna turn this chip into a web server and I'm gonna show you exactly step by step how you do that. So obviously the first step is to actually buy an ESP8266 but the second step once you already have one is to plug it in to your PC so it's connected to your actual desktop. And now that we've plugged in the ESP we're gonna open Arduino IDE. So this is the code for the web server and this code will be available in my discord channel. If you want this code, join my discord channel. The link is down in the description. So once you get this code, the first thing you want to change about it is your Wi-Fi settings. This is the name and password of your Wi-Fi. The next thing you want to check is in tools on the top here and to see if you have selected the right board. In my case, it's an ESP82 module, but if this is the first time you use Arduino IDE, you first wanna to go to board manager and search for the ESP8266. As you can see, I've already installed mine, but if you often use this command in Arduino IDE, there's a possibility you have version 3.0. This is not the right version for this code, so you have to remove that one you've downloaded and install the 2.3.0. This is very important because otherwise this won't work. So the next thing you wanna check is again in tools and then scroll down to ports and you wanna select the correct port that your ESP is hooked up to. If you don't know what port you're using in your PC or laptop, just unplug your USB cable and then it should go away from the serial port list and then you know which port you have. Also, while you're here, you wanna check if your upload speed is 115,200. So now just a little bit about how the code works. As you can see here, this part of the code, make sure you connect to your Wi-Fi so your ESP is connected to it. After that, it's basically all code just to set up the web page. This goes down for a while because it's a lot of code to set up this web page. And then from this line all the way down to here is basically the aesthetics of the web page. So at the top, you can see the style of buttons. So the text decoration or the background color of these buttons. I also changed the header of the site to Pachyzel's ESP8266 web server. You can change this, it's very easy. Just change this line and name it whatever you want. I'm gonna show you in a second how that looks on your phone or at your PC. Also a really fun thing to mess around with is this line of code down here. This basically sets the background for your page. Because if you remove this line of code, it just be a white background and it would be very boring. So what we're gonna do now is just check again if we have the right port and the right board module. In my case, it's correct. So what we're gonna do is upload it to the ESP8266. And after it's uploaded, you can check on the top right here in serial monitor, if it works, it's gonna show you some dots and then after a while, you'll see an IP address. So now it's done uploading. I'm gonna click on the top right serial monitor. It, you can't see it, but it's right about here behind my face cam. You click it and it shows you this little box with the dots. And eventually it should find the IP address that your ESP is connected to. If you're having some trouble or you can't see the dots, it's just question marks. Make sure that on the bottom right here, you selected the right bot. And like we said, we're using upload speed 
115,200. So make sure you've selected that. As you can see right now, there's a lot of dots here in my serial monitor. So that means it's having difficulties with connecting. So what you can do is if you have the ESP8266, you have two buttons right here. The one says flash, this one, and one says reset. What you wanna do is press the reset button. So this is what happens when you press the reset button. It just starts over and it shows you a lot of stuff that's actually connecting to it. So a problem that I just discovered was that my ESP wasn't in flash mode. Now a really quick way, and I'm gonna show you this in big screen, a really quick way to make sure your ESP is in flash mode is to unplug it like uh, this and make sure you hold the flash button down whilst connecting your ESP backup again. So now it's open, you can let loose of the flash knob and that should put your esp back into flash mode and then you could upload the code again if it didn't work the first time so as you can see once i've opened the serial monitor you will get this message wi-fi connected and the ip address this ip address you want to copy because this is also the url to your website so what you want to do is open your web browser and type in the IP address that you just received from your serial monitor. This will take you to this page. And this is basically the command center for your web server. I know it looks a little bit weird with this background, but that's because I chose a background that works best on my phone. As you can see, I designed mine just for my phone. You can open it in your PC as I showed you, but I just use it for my phone. And that's why the background on PC looks a little bit weird, but normal on my phone. So now you think, well, I have two buttons that say on. Uh, I can click them. They go from on to off. Actually, as you can see, the state of this button is now on. So it shows you what you want to click to go off. So if you click this, it will go off. If you click this, it will go on. So you're probably wondering, what can I do with this? So... If you grab the ESP8266, on this side of the ESP8266, you see the D6 and D7 pin. Basically, this is what you're controlling. If I press the top one, it turns on the D6 pin. If I use the bottom one, it turns on the D7 pin. What's up guys, editing pack easel here. What I forgot to mention whilst filming this video is that when you press these buttons or when you join the web server, you can actually see what is happening in the serial monitor inside Arduino IDE. So if you're curious and you host a web server where multiple people are on, on your Wi-Fi, you can just check which people are on, when you get a new client, when they press the button and all those kind of fun things. But with that being said, let's go back with the video. So basically the possibilities are endless with this you can hook up your lights in your house maybe you make a switch connected to your pc so you can turn your pc on and off with your phone there's so many possibilities that you can use this web server for and that's why i'm challenging you guys to show me something in my discord that you made using this web server and if you manage to make the best idea for this web server I'm going to give you a shout out and I might even build it myself in another video. So if you want to have this code for the web server, make sure to join my Discord channel. In my Discord channel, this code will be available for everyone. You can download it and just mess with it yourself. There's a lot of things you can change. There's also a lot of things you can add to the code or improve it. Just let me know what you did with it because I'm very curious on what people are making with this web server. So if this helped, like the video, subscribe, and I thank you guys very much for watching and I'll see you guys next week. Ciao.